WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on Monday, the 13th of September, 10 o'clock uh, market update. You're looking at the Dow 267 after a really look at this chart on the left of the daily chart. Look at that red candle, five red candles, what, four red candles in a row? No, five red candles in a row. So we finally got some green. Uh, it's still within the parameters of uh, an inside day. Uh, we're looking at an arch formation, that pattern that I call the dreaded H. Look at this. We went below it. Now we're above it. We're going to see what happens over the next few days. But absolutely, the 34,599 low that was made on Friday, if that's taken out, that's going to be pretty poor action for the weekly chart. Uh, we're looking at the S&P. Ah, this is not doing as well. The Dow is uh, up 0.85%. And the S&P is only up 0.43. It's up 19 at 4.77. Off the intraday high, hits the 14 period moving average in the daily and gets repelled. So at 4.476, yeah, the S&P also, like the Dow, is in a sell mode. We're going to see what happens. It needs to get to the 45.12 uh, area to say, no, no, I've got inside inner strength, residual strength. Otherwise, this weakness will persist. And we've got our peak D at that trend line resistance in the weekly chart right there. QQQ in the X100, like the Dow, we're short the, the uh, QQQs. We went short at the opening, uh, actually pre-market uh, on Friday. And there was a, a very, a very small short position, but it is three times short. And look at this. We are down 86 cents at 375.77 after a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology at 382.78, all-time high on the 7th of July. We're watching this weekly chart for a two-bar reversal, Chapman Wave two-bar reversal. Got the entire week to go before we can talk about that. Let's look at the IWM also. Uh, weak and making a lower low today at 221.73. It's also in a sell mode. We're looking at the, uh, let's go to uh, gold. Uh, let's see if gold's got a bit of a rally. Yes, it's up four at 1795, finding a little bit of strength. But look at this. The dollar is actually holding pretty well. Dollar's up a nine ticks at 92.72. Most importantly, we're looking at the bonds, and the bonds are trying to rally. They're in the inside track repellent zone. I'll be back in a few moments for my Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope you can stay. Otherwise, we'll see you time tomorrow. And also check out my opening call. They use that. We've got some got nice positions there. Hope to see you in a few minutes. The reality.